Hello friend, in last video we discussed the different mechanical properties of material and in this video we will discuss the different thermal properties of material. Okay, so let's start the video. So let's discuss with the thermal conductivity. Okay, so thermal conductivity it is the property of material uh, that how easily the material can conduct the heat means uh, if at one end suppose the component is heated so uh, how easily the other end can be heat okay because the heat is transferring okay so the material with the high thermal conductivity uh, will transfer the heat quickly and uh, the material with the lower thermal conductivity will transfer heat slowly okay uh, and you can see the example like uh, copper and aluminium have the higher thermal conductivity and are used in the heat sink and the and the insulator like uh, uh, fiberglass foam have a lower thermal conductivity and are used in the insulation so next one we have the specific heat capacity so uh, specific heat capacity is nothing but the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of the given amount of material by 1 degree celsius so the amount of energy required to raise the temperature to 1 degree celsius is nothing but the specific heat capacity okay so the material with the higher specific heat capacity required more energy to heat up uh, than the material with the lower heat capacity suppose our material having the higher uh, specific heat capacity it means that uh, we required the more energy or more heat to raise the temperature so water has a high specific heat capacity and it is used as a coolant in many application okay because it required the uh, more uh, energy or heat to raise the temperature okay while uh, the metal such as iron copper have the lower speci specific heat capacity and are used in the uh, cooking uh, uh, utensil because uh, in the cooking utensils uh, we want the uh, we want the uh, utensil easily uh, heat up okay next one we have the thermal expansion so thermal expansion is nothing but the tendency of material to expand or contract in response to the change in the temperature okay so this property is very important in application where the uh, dimensional stability is uh, our uh, requirement or uh, the dimensional stability is critical at that time thermal expansion uh, property is very important next one we have the thermal diffusivity so thermal diffusivity is nothing but the ability of material to conduct a heat relative to its ability to store the heat okay so the material with a higher thermal diffusivity will conduct the heat quickly and evenly okay and the material with a lower thermal uh, diffusivity will conduct the heat slowly and unevenly next one we have the melting point okay so the melting point uh, is uh, nothing but the temperature at which the solid state of material is uh, transferred into the liquid state next one we have the boiling point so the boiling point is nothing but the temperature at which the liquid state of material is transferred into the gas state okay so the material with a high boiling point can withstand the high temperature without vaporizing next one we have the heat of fusion so the heat of fusion is the amount of energy required to melt the solid material into the liquid state at a constant temperature so the heat of diffusion this uh, property is uh, very important in application such as welding and the casting next one we have thermal shock resistance so the thermal shock resistance is the property of material and is it is nothing but the ability of material to withstand the sudden changes in the temperature without breaking and cracking okay so the material with the high thermal shock resistance can withstand the rapid heating and the 
कूलिंग साइकिल ओके सो इट इज सुटेबल फॉर द हाई टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन सच एज फर्नेस एंड दिन्स एंड द नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव दी थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी ओके सो द थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी इज इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ मटीरियल टू मेन्टेन इट्स फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज वेन एक्सपोज टू हाई टेम्परेचर ओके सो द मटीरियल विथ अ हाई थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी कैन वी स्टैंड द हीट विदाउट चेंजिंग इट्स प्रॉपर्टी एंड इट इज सुटेबल फॉर अ हाई टेम्परेचर एप्लीकेशन सच एज एरोस्पेस न्यूक्लियर एंड द एटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्रीज सो थर्मल स्टेबिलिटी इट इज रिलेटेड विथ द मेन्टेनिंग द फिजिकल एंड द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ओके वेन इट इज एक्सपोज टू द हाई टेम्परेचर नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव द थर्मल इन्सुलेशन ओके सो द थर्मल इन्सुलेशन इज नथिंग बट द एबिलिटी ऑफ मटीरियल टू रेजिस द ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट ओके सो जनरली वी यूज द इन्सुलेटिंग मटीरियल्स टू टू रेजिस द ट्रांसफर ऑफ हीट ओके सो द मटेरियल विथ हाई थर्मल इन्सुलेशन विल प्रिवेंट द हीट फ्रॉम एस्केपिंग और इंटरिंग अ स्पेस ओके एंड Uh, it is suitable for applications such as building insulation or refrigeration okay or sometimes on the uh, hot heating line or pipeline uh, we provide the insulation so that the heat uh, heat will not go from uh, from inside to outside or from outside to inside like that that's it for this video If you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching see you in the next video